All right, I'm in my backyard, so if you hear some noise, um, that's really from the uh, air conditioning going on. Now, what I'm doing is I'm testing out a Canon FD lens. Right now I have a 20 millimeter mounted up on the Photo Deox ND throttle. It's a lens adapter uh, that allows me to use a Canon FD lens to my Micro Four Thirds cameras. Uh, right now this is a GH4. So, um, without changing your shutter speed, your ISO, and your aperture, uh, the ND throttle allows you to change the amount of light that comes into the camera um, so that you can keep your aperture wide open uh, on a bright day like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out. What you're looking at now is uh, my 20 millimeter lens. I also have uh, a few other lenses that I'll test out. And um, so let me just show you real quick. Let me rack focus out. And then back into this flower over here. Um, so that's what you're looking at. We're probably about f4 uh, right now. And let me adjust the intensity of the ND throttle. So at this point here, I'm going to adjust the ND filter that sits behind the lens. So let's turn that. You'll notice it's getting darker. We can actually decrease this all the way so you can't see anything. So it's a really powerful variable ND here. But I'm going to back it up just a little bit. Let you guys take a look at that. You notice it is darker. Some people are concerned about whether or not it's going to turn magenta or it's going to turn green. I do have my white balance locked in at 5600K. So I'm using the daylight um, auto, uh, the daylight white balance setting on the GH4. So once again, I'm going to use the ND throttle and make it darker and darker. And then we're going to go back a little bit. So that might be a little bit too overexposed, but hopefully that gives you a good idea. What I'm going to do next is uh, uh, another different sample here. All right, so I'm still on the Canon 20 millimeter FD. Uh, my ND throttle is at its minimum right now, so you can kind of see what that looks like. I could rack focus for you guys. Let's see. So then I'll turn the ND throttle um, to its maximum. So let me rotate this. And again, what we're looking for is uh, any reduction in sharpness or any color casting, any color shift. Honestly, I don't really notice a real color shift. I just notice that it is getting darker, obviously. And this is the maximum here. So we totally cut out all of the light. So then I'm going to back out again. So that's at, back at its minimum here. So um, having a variable ND obviously allows me to uh, open up the aperture to let a lot of the light in. Um, but sometimes it's too much light, so we need to block that. And that's what the ND throttle is doing. So let me set up another example. All right, so here's a, another example. This time I'm using a Canon FD 50 millimeter lens. Um, I'm at my lowest ISO setting here on the GH4 and uh, I'm at 150th shutter speed and I'm at about F2 um, right now on the lens. Now let me show you what happens when I open up the ND throttle. It's completely blown out It's because we got too much light coming in. So. Typically, in this situation, what we have to do is we have to either crank up the shutter speed or close down on the aperture, which obviously changes, changes the way the image appears um, in video. So by adding an ND filter, we're able to cut down on the amount of light. So again, let me dial this ND throttle down a little bit so that we can get better exposure without having to change our shutter speed or our aperture. So what I'll also do is I'll increase this ND throttle so that you guys can see um, how dark it gets. And 
you know, whether or not there is a color cast or color shift. Once again, my white balance is locked in using the daylight setting in the GH4. So here you see I'm reducing the amount of light coming in. And then I will increase, I will open up the ND throttle basically. I'm just doing this slowly so you guys can kind of just look at the image as it changes. And then obviously we're going to open it up all the way where it's too much light. So let me back down a little bit, see if these things will stay in place long enough so that you can see what the, the sharpness is on this lens. Obviously this is an old lens. It's not going to be as sharp as an actual micro four thirds lens. Um, and again, we're at F2, so everything's going to be fairly blow now we'll have a very thin plane of uh, focus all right so let me set up another example all right once again this is um, a Canon 50 millimeter FD lens on the photo deox ND throttle and um, let's see I'm just gonna rack focus for you guys so you can see what that looks like at a distance and then focus back over here and then let me turn the ND throttle settings that's opening it up so you see how much light is coming in and again if we wanted to change this exposure without an ND filter we would have to either adjust the shutter speed or the aperture and uh, that's not always ideal uh, for video so let me turn down the ND let me block some light and keep an eye on the image see what type of colors may be introduced here as the image changes and I'll go back again so here we're probably okay at exposure and once again let me rack focus All right, so it doesn't look too bad from uh, what I could see on the back of my LCD here. And I am working on a very, very bright day. Um, obviously, when you add more glass to your setup, you always run the risk of uh, getting reflections, um, uh, you know. There, but you just have to be aware of, uh, you know, where your lens is pointing and make sure you're not getting a lot of lens flare that's going to cause a lot of reflections on the the photo deox ND throttle um, but let me change up my setup again I'll try a different lens all right so in this example here I have a Canon FD 200 millimeter lens on a GH4 so um, and then at 4k it crops in further so we're we're talking about more than 400 millimeters here and I have the variable ND placed behind the lens uh, typically if you put a variable ND filter in front of a lens like this in this kind of setup um, it's going to be incredibly soft um, and at times unusable so again this is placing the ND filter behind the lens now this is an old 200 millimeter FD um, it's at uh, it's an f4 lens so it's not the best lens in the world but you know it's usable um, I, as far as I can see uh, for you know for I think I paid maybe fifty dollars for this lens uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the ND throttle here you'll notice that as I touch the lens we're gonna get a lot of movement because I'm not on the most stable tripod and we are at past 200 millimeters with this type of setup so that's wide open on the ND throttle I'm gonna back off on it again lowering the exposure without changing my shutter or my aperture and you guys determine whether or not you're seeing a lot of casting going on magenta or green and then I'm going to go all the way down then we'll go back up slowly and for me I'd probably leave it at this at this exposure here so then if you wanted to see what that looked like if we were to crank down on the aperture I'll open up this throttle 
Okay, so we are beyond F22 here. Let me see. Yeah, that's F22. You notice you'll see more of the background in focus. So if we open it up, you'll see the background will start to defocus, which is ideal for some people. All right. But now that we have the background defocused, we have too much light coming in. So we're going to have to add some, we're going to have to increase the ND throttle here so that we can maintain a defocused background and proper exposure without changing our aperture and shutter speed. So for me, once again, I'll probably sit somewhere over here. And that's what it looks like on a Canon FD 200 millimeter lens on a GH4 at 4K. So again, that is beyond 400 millimeters. And we have a variable ND filter on here, which typically you would not do on this type of setup. So let me get a different setup going and show you those examples. All right, here's uh, just one other example. This time again on the Canon 20 millimeter FD. The ND throttle is uh, wide open. I'm gonna pull back onto this um, cord here. There should be some very fine letters. I don't know if you guys could read that. Hopefully I'm in focus. But there's some letters and markings on the cord. So if you're worried about the uh, ND throttle softening up your image, um, hopefully this is uh, one example that shows you uh, how much reduction there might be. We'll go back over to this plant and back over to the cord. And hopefully I'm in focus. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this uh, ND throttle so it's going to, the image is going to get darker. So we can actually cut out the light entirely, but we will open it back up. Once again, you guys determine if there's a lot of color shifting happening here. It is obviously getting brighter, but it does not appear to go purple like some other ND filters. So I'm going to reduce it again. Again, it's getting darker and darker. And hopefully the letters on that cord is legible. They are really small. So that's it. All right, here's another example. Uh, still on the Canon 50 millimeter FD lens. We've got a lot of light coming in here. Um, so let me close down this ND throttle here. And then let me let me change focus on the lens. Focus back at this little birdhouse. And back again. And back to the birdhouse. So let me uh, reduce the uh, ND. You guys tell me whether you're getting a lot of color cast or not. Totally cuts out the light. Very impressive amount of um, variations we have in this ND. So again, I'm opening it up. You tell me if it's uh, changing. Obviously, it's going to get brighter. Then I'll open it all the way up. So again, if we wanted to work at this aperture and not change our shutter speed or, or um, our aperture or ISO, uh, we have to just block this light coming in here. And so we're doing that with the ND throttle. So let me uh, close it down. And let me pull focus again. So I'm just going through this so you guys can see uh, 
whether it's sharp or it's too soft, whether you're getting a lot of color shifting. Okay, so let me set up another example. Okay, so right now, uh, again, I'm locked into the daylight setting, the white balance daylight setting in the GH4 camera. And uh, my shutter speed is at 1 50th, doing 24p. And um, I'm using my Canon FD 20 millimeter lens with the ND throttle. So having said that, uh, my camera is compensating for 5600K. This is what it looks like through the ND throttle. Now, hopefully you can see the markings on my lenses here. And I'll rack focus a little bit here. Let me push out to these toys on the floor and then push back over to these lenses. So you guys determine how much sharpness is being lost through the ND throttle. And again, this is a Canon FD lens, 20 millimeter. It's actually not a real Canon lens. I think it's an aftermarket Fuji, Fujinon or something. So there you go. Then for kicks, let's increase the uh, intensity of the ND throttle. I'm gonna slowly make it darker and darker. My white balance is locked in, so you determine whether it has a color cast or color shift as we change the different settings. And then we'll open it all the way back up. Rack focus again for you guys. So if you can read some of the markings on these lenses, then we're not losing too much sharpness. Uh, but I will do another setup for you guys. All right, so right now I have the Canon FD 50 millimeter on here and uh, I have the ND throttle behind the glass. So at this point, um, you should be able to see if the image is, is soft or not. And, uh, you know, you should be able to see the markings on these lenses right here, but I'm gonna pull focus a little bit over to those toys and then I'll just come back to the lens and hopefully you should be able to read those markings and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the ND throttle here so it's gonna get darker so I want you to take a look at um, the image to determine whether or not it's getting softer or if it's introducing a lot of color cast going magenta or maybe even green. Again, my white balance is locked in at 5600K because uh, I'm using the daylight setting, the sun, in the GH4. So I'm gonna open up the ND throttle. So that's opened up all the way. Once again, I'm gonna rack focus. And back to the lens. You let me know if it's too soft or if it's introducing any color. So I'm gonna rotate this again. It's gonna get darker. And we're gonna increase it, open it up. So at with a 50 millimeter lens on a GH4 at 4K, uh, we're way beyond 100 millimeters here. And uh, you know, for most variable ND filters on this kind of setup, you're gonna lose a lot of sharpness. Um, so we'll see what the ND throttle does because it's placed behind the glass. I'll have to bring all these samples into the computer and take a look at it. I'm just going to upload it for you guys. You guys decide. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll just kind of have a discussion about that.